Every day, Kitsap County processes hundreds of tons of waste and recyclable material from county residents. But how many times have you thought about where that garbage and recycling goes once you set it at your curb? The can of soup you open for lunch. Or the bottle of water you drank while working out have very interesting stories to tell about where they go when you turn them in. And though you have to throw them away, out of sight doesn't mean out of mind. So let's find out just exactly where they go when they leave your hand. The entire journey begins with you, when you sort your waste into the proper container and then place it at the curb for pickup. Whether it's garbage or recyclable material, automated vehicles collect your trash. and deliver it to a local transfer station where it's dumped for processing. Here, the garbage and recyclable material go in different directions. All the recyclable material is transported to a material recovery facility, or MRF. We'll follow that load a little later. All garbage is dumped on the transfer station floor and then pushed into a chute that funnels the waste into a compactor. The compactor is digitally controlled by an operator and compresses the garbage into 30-ton bales. The garbage bale is then pushed into a rail car container and ready for shipment. Loaders called top picks place the containers onto train beds that will join up to 150 other cars to form a train that rolls south nearly 300 miles to Arlington, Oregon. It arrives at the Columbia Ridge Landfill, a large arid landmass that minimizes environmental risk. Here, the containers are emptied into the active cell of the landfill. It marks the end of the line for the garbage you placed at the curb, but it's not the end of our story. The landfill is lined with a barrier of compacted clay and multiple layers of high-density plastic to help prevent leakage. Rainwater that soaks through the waste is collected by an underground plumbing system to avoid contaminating the groundwater. The waste is covered with soil every day to eliminate odors and repel scavengers from the landfill. Now. Let's catch up with the recyclable material that's headed to the recovery facility. Recycled material requires many extra steps to be handled properly. This mountain of combined material must be sorted into separate collections of paper, plastic, glass, and cardboard for processing. The material travels on a conveyor system nearly one mile long to be sorted for shipping reaching speeds up to 380 feet per minute. It takes about seven minutes to turn this huge wall of waste into sorted material ready for shipping around the world. First, all cardboard is separated from the stream. Any items that may jam the system are also removed. Next, Newspaper is sorted at a different section of the conveyor. Followed by mixed paper products such as cereal boxes and magazines. Finally, glass, metal and plastic containers are sorted. This is where our steel soup can and plastic water bottle go different ways. After sorting, the various materials are shipped to factories and used to manufacture new products that arrive at your local store to complete the recycling process. Your plastic water bottle might return in a number of different products, and your soup can may even be part of a landmark, like the Manette Bridge. One thing is certain, recycling works for all of us. Our natural resources are priceless and must be protected. You might think that your help and participation in recycling doesn't count for much. Well, it does. 
The average person produces about 1,400 pounds of garbage each year. The average family of four produces more than three tons of garbage each year. Kitsap County has always been a leader in recycling and environmental protection, properly handling our community waste, and preserving the beauty of the land around us are goals we all can achieve. Each of us plays an important role in this process every day. Make your role count and keep Kitsap County the model of waste management and environmental protection for all of us.